Hello, welcome everybody to another Facebook Friday, right? Another Frilici Friday. Are you guys ready? You know me, I love Fridays and I'm so happy. It's like the most beautiful, like picture perfect summer Friday before an awesome holiday weekend. Hopefully you guys all have lots of fun or maybe just relaxing plans for the weekend, the long holiday weekend, right? And we've got lots of fun to be had around here, right here too. Hello, Miss Philomena. Before you get to all the fun that you're gonna have for the 4th of July weekend. It's funny, cause I looked in my closet. I'm like, do I have anything like, I don't have anything red, white, and blue. I'm like, I might have to run to the store and get some fun like 4th of July t-shirt. Cause I feel very like not festive, but I did find this pretty navy top. So I'm like, okay, I kind of have my like 4th of July colors on today. So. Yeah, hello, hello, Philomena. So you guys, we are playing with, I'll tell you, we are gonna play with the Turtle Friends Bundle. Thank you for the share too, Philomena, I appreciate that. So yes, today, later on in Facebook Live, we have the super cute, the Turtle Friends stamp set, and then the Turtle Punch. Oops, my fingers are kind of on it there too, right there. Like the glare is always so funny, but isn't he so cute? So great sentiments in this stamp set. Like we have, there's a happy birthday. Um, can I do it this way? Happy birthday. You are turtly loved. That's cute, huh? I hadn't even like noticed that one. Um, happy belated birthday. Sorry, I was slow. That one's cute, like turtle reference, right? Hello, little one. Um, forever friends. And then one, no, that's not a sentiment. That's like little green grass that um, the little turtle might be crawling across. And then the fun thing is, you know, you can obviously add some little detail inside the big turtle. And then they've got a couple of little baby turtles. And then you can add some detail inside of those too. So lots of fun stuff. We're going to have an awesome time. I've got super cute cards for you today with that Turtle Friends bundle, right? So we'll uh, play with that in just a little while. In the meantime, I have like so much other fun stuff to share with you guys. So just last week, I did the new annual catalog kickoff and buy one, get one free event. It's funny because I'm like, it's kind of late, but May got like super crazy um, basically with the incentive trip that took like a bunch of days away from me and I wasn't able to do the new catalog kickoff event back in May like I probably should have. So we did it in June um, and it was awesome. We, we um, lots of people came and shopped from like my retired product. Hey Sharon, I am still planning to do, I think, right? I got to get myself organized. Um, but yet yeah, this month in July, we're already on July 2nd, like barely in the month of July, right? I'm going to do an online Vogel event. Good morning. Good morning. Um, I just have to figure out how to do it because Facebook changed some stuff and I just haven't had a chance to sit down and figure out how I'm going to do that yet. So I will be announcing kind of more info on that in a little bit. So if you weren't able to come um, locally, if you're just not local or it just didn't work for you to come that day, I'm going to do an online event and I will share that um, info with you as soon as I have myself figured out basically. So in the meantime though, I wanted to share, we made some super cute um, some make and takes at the buy one get one free event so this first one is this fun little and this actually features the all squared away bundle that i used on my latest class to go i'm going to show you guys more info about that one but if you love these super cute little flowers so they're fun little frames and then flowers and then they give you little die cuts so you can kind of so it could be all green frame um, or you can obviously put those little yellow and orange flowers on there and add a little more detail so this was the fun little card and it says happiest of birthdays to you and then on the inside we stamped you are so worth celebrating can you guys see that and then the fun little um flower stamps too that are part of this stamp set um what else did i want to point out oh yeah these cute little so the in color square gems aren't those fun so those are last year's the 2020 2022 that is so hard for me to say. Uh, those are the ink color gems, basically last year's ink colors. So those are a fun embellishment that we added because we kind of used some of the ink colors there too. So that was the one make and take. And then this other one, because I cannot stop playing with, and I'm drawing a blank on the name, but I absolutely love that stamp set, whatever that one is. I used it on Facebook Live a couple weeks ago, but I love how you can layer. So the happy, happy birthday, uh, super simple with some of the Pansy Designer Series paper, a little twine. And then if I can kind of zoom in there, we used some of the 
in color this year's current in colors the 2021 2023 in color gems that were available to order for like a hot minute and then they went on back order or not orderable i don't know i can't remember but man these things are super hot super popular um so hopefully you got a package um if not biggest wish yes that's what this is called thank you sharon i'm glad so you're listening i love that too hey pam hello thank you for sharing also um so yeah they'll be available again it's the whole global shipping crisis right I hear about it so I um, am also an accountant I think I've told you guys that many times right but basically do all the financial and accounting work for a couple of plastics companies and let me tell you what it's not been easy to get plastic pellets either to make our plastic parts at either of the companies so um, it's not just jewels and gems that are um, difficult to get in terms of shipping it's like anything you can think of um, just difficult times right now so Anyway, but those were the cute little make and takes that we made. And then I made a little treat for everybody because I can't stop making these little treats. Uh, yes. Oh, yeah. You Okay, good. So Sharon loved this card so much. The biggest wish stamp set on it that she had to order. And it's so cute. I absolutely love it. You guys are probably going to be sick of seeing it because I have used it so many times and I probably still plan on using it. Like, actually, I used it right here on this little tree the hello friend again the layering and the different colors so cute the little flower punch with some of the genial gems if i get really close maybe you can see those there right and then um i love making these i kind of basically i find little um styles of treats that i like to make and then i just use new product whatever we have so this one it's kind of it like lifts out and it's got one of those fun little debbie cakes that of course all the little sprinkly colors match the colors on here and this is my favorite ribbon it's not even a new ribbon but this is that pool party sheer or shimmer ribbon it's just so fun and light and wispy um i love it so anyway everybody got one of these little treats too at the um, new catalog kickoff event so lots of fun was had at that event um ha 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 you know what i want to show you guys now i think i can do this yeah i was debating like do i or don't i so you guys all know we went to Maui last month and Stampin' Up! always completely spoils us, right? So not only did they, you know, it was an awesome, hey, Lori, hello, welcome, here I am, she says. <laughs> yes, you are, here you are, that's so cute. Um, yeah, so they just, you know, they spoil us in so many ways. The beautiful resort, um, just all of the pampering, um, the, uh, what am I thinking of, the, um, what are those called, the excursions that we went on, and then the pillow gifts. So I showed you a bunch of the gifts. But what I didn't show you was all of the product that we received too, because it was all from our January, or excuse me, our July to December mini catalog, essentially the holiday catalog. So it's a bunch of holiday catalog product. And I have it right here. Um, as demonstrators, we can now, as of yesterday, July 1st, as a demonstrator, we can pre-order out of the July to December mini catalog. And then as a customer, you can start ordering in August. So I thought I would just kind of show you these things, tease you a little bit, and also mention that for sure, we are doing celebration again, two times in one year. So we did it back in like January and February, and now we're gonna do it again in August and September. But again, as demonstrators, we can pre-order and pre-earn celebration products right now. So of course I had to put my order in yesterday, my first pre-order, so I ordered a bunch of product and for every $50 that I spent I got a free celebration item just like we did earlier this year so you'll be able to take advantage of that too starting in August but let me tell you if you cannot wait to start ordering out of the July to December mini catalog or can't wait to start getting celebration items you can order the starter kit right now you can get holiday catalog product in your starter kit and then when you put your first order in you can get more new holiday catalog product and you can get a free celebration item for every $50 you order because you'd be a demonstrator then right so awesome 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 time to get that starter kit too so let me show you guys oh and I should mention too before I like lose my note I had to go through and like total up the value of all of this it was close to $200 in free product that we got in addition to all the other awesome fabulous um, pillow gifts and special treats that they gave us. So I tell you what, ladies, if you're looking for something to do, if you are bored and don't know what to do with yourself, I say get that starter kit, start holding classes and events, um, earn incentive trip points and go on an incentive trip. It is so worth it. Um, it's a lot of work. It's definitely a lot of work, but it is so rewarding. It's so much fun to play with all of this stuff. So if you're interested ever at any time in learning more about the starter kit, um, how you might build a business, I would be happy to help you out 
because obviously I'm doing it and I can share with you how I do it and give you a path and a plan to be able to do that. And then you, we can go on the incentive trips together. Wouldn't that be awesome? I would love to have people in my downline earning the incentive trip. And then we can just have so much fun together on these trips as well. So, hey, Nikki, I hope, I feel like I've maybe I missed people as they popped on. Kate, are you on the phone right now too? Did I actually, okay, I'm not sure what, I feel like I can hear Kate talking. Hopefully no one else can hear Kate talking. Kate, if you're on the phone, hang up. I'm on Facebook Live right now. Oh my gosh. All right, sorry guys, if this is weird. So Teresa, if I didn't say hello, I'll say hello to you now. But yeah, so okay, just go get the lawnmower. It's all paid for and ready to go, but I can't talk right now, okay? <laughs> my gosh, that's nuts. I think he's gone now, I hope. So that's kind of, because that's really weird. And that's going to like stress me out too. And I don't like to be stressed out, especially on a Friday. Okay, so you guys, I'm going to show you the product, right? This There's so much cute, fun, beautiful, beautiful stuff. So where do I begin? Okay, I'm just going to kind of scoot that right out of the way. My camera is really low, so I'm like having to like stand... I'm not squatting because that would really hurt my legs. I had a good workout this morning and I'm not squatting now, but I'm like stretched out as far as I can get to be lower. I could probably adjust the camera, but that would be just too easy. So, okay, first of all, so I can't show you the catalog. We can never show you the inside of the catalog, but I can show you all the product that I got. And you guys maybe have seen, you know, other demonstrators are already posting online all this fun new product. They're showing um, pictures of things because uh, like I said, you can get the starter kit and get this stuff in the starter kit. So they're teasing you right now or maybe you're maybe you're even going to get that starter kit or you're already a demonstrator and you can order right so this was one of the things that they gave us the christmas season stamp set so beautiful kind of um winter fall um the pine cone the leaves all of the berries that beautiful imagery and then um, i haven't even opened these yet but we'll we'll take a quick peek at these too so these are called oh i should have these open that's all right these are called the, mm, is that right? Yeah, the seasonal labels dies. That's right. So, and this is so cool um, because there are a bunch of label dies. And then I think they're going to cut the pine cones out too, if I remember. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this is a huge set of dies too. I'll show you. We've got, oh my gosh, look at, oh, okay, there we go. So there are all of those, right? So they've got some leaves and then that big, beautiful label. Check that out, right? And then here are some more, like more leaves and labels and pine cones. How cool. It's funny because I saw this one right here with that little bloop on the end. I saw that used on a project and I was like, well, what is that dye? Where did that come from? And now I know. So cute. Okay. So we're going to be breaking these out very soon. I love that they're doing this too, right? So they've got, um, you know, the imagery from the stamp set, obviously right here and dies to cut these things out, but then they're throwing in labels and things too. So they're super versatile, right? I love that. Good idea, Stampin' Up. Okay, so that's one. The Christmas season bundle, essentially, is a fun product that we got. Then we also got, ooh, some designer series paper. This is called the Gingerbread and Peppermint. This is six by six designer series paper. Super cute. We're going to have some fun with this. It's funny because a lot of times, like this time of year, I'm not super excited about Christmas stuff yet. Like, I kind of have to really work hard to like show enthusiasm, but this stuff is really, really cute, guys. So I think I'm not gonna have to work so hard to like share my enthusiasm this time. Okay, I'm trying to kind of spread it out so you guys can see. I guess I can just kind of fan it out, right? Okay, oh my gosh, it's so cute because I haven't really even looked, okay? So can you guys see the gingerbread? What did I call this? It is called gingerbread and peppermint. Yeah, so there's one, this is not even all of it. And that's the front and back. Oh my gosh, this paper is so cute. I can see making all kinds of cute treats with this paper, right? And then here's some more. So there's another front and back of that one. Oh my goodness. I know, Pam. Ooh, I am loving it too. I hadn't even opened that yet. This is kind of fun. So, huh, very cool. Okay, so you're gonna need that paper. Okay, seriously, if you don't have the starter kit, you guys need to get the starter kit, right? Because then you can get all this great stuff. There is some ribbon. This is a real red ribbon, and it is called um, Mini Ruffled Ribbon in Real Red. And I bet it works really well with that designer series paper I just showed you. Beautiful. Look at that huge, like, 10-yard bolt of that. Let's see, Nikki, what did she say? Oh, I got to scroll back. She says that paper, rem yes, yeah, oh, gosh, now I'm like, sorry, guys. Yes, the old candy cane lane, yes. I was thinking it looked kind of familiar. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, yes, um, let's see. So what else? Ooh, this awesome stamp set. So this I think was on a prize 
wheel. So not everybody got the same stuff, but this was the um, stamp set. I can't remember in all these cases, but not everybody got this stamp set. But I always love the sentiments. So this Holly Jolly Wishes, I'll try to read this one. We wish you a Merry Christmas. Sorry, the glare is crazy. Um, be of good cheer. That one's cute. Um, Tis the season to be jolly. Oh, I like that one. Merry Christmas to you with that beautiful font. I can see those label dies working really well with a lot of these things too. Ah, I love this one. I've always loved that. Jingle all the way. That's such a cute sentiment, right? And then what do we have? Oh yeah. Fa la 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 la. <laughs> I'm not singing. Have a holly jolly Christmas is that one. And then one more. It's the most wonderful time of the year. So look, so many great sentiments in the Holly Jolly Wishes stamp set. You guys are gonna need that too. I can't, I wanna start playing with this stuff. This never happens to me, you guys, but so many cute things. Okay, so what else? Let me show you another pack of designer series paper. This is the Painted Christmas designer series paper. Um, and I think it works with that first bundle, that Christmas season bundle. It's part of that suite, if I remember correctly. I don't even wanna pull my catalog out. Cause I don't want to tease you guys because I don't want to get in trouble too and like accidentally show you the inside of it. I'm trying to fan this out also. Oh, this is really pretty too. Okay. So here, can I get this all? Can I show you if I kind of go slowly, right? Oops. Don't flop over on me. There we go. So this is the front. Lots of um, kind of leaf, pine cone, viney imagery. And then the back, Ooh, these are cool too. Some little more geometric patterns, I guess I would say. Some really kind of soft patterns here too. Beautiful paper. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm getting more and more and more excited. And I love, so I have not opened any of this. I know I kind of said that, but I love like sharing my true excitement as I'm looking at this stuff with you guys right now too. This is not, like I'm not faking this at all. Like this is all such good stuff. I got really lucky, I think, because what happened here. So, ooh, this is fun too. This gingham ribbon, the black and white gingham ribbon. Isn't that so fun? And we're going to have a good time with that. I can see treats um, like little, like these things, right? We could make some little treats and tie that ribbon instead of the um, pool party ribbon. I'm going to untie that because I'm not pulling it right, but that would work, right? We could have some fun with that ribbon also. Um, let's see what else. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Ooh, the candy canes. This is um, a big background stamp. This is great. You can use this with your stamparatus, right? Sorry, the glare. It's funny. It's not really even that sunny inside here, but I don't know. It's just what's happening here. And then I'm not even going to open these, but they are the subtle shimmer sequins. So you can kind of see you hear them? They're going to shake around that. <laughs> I know. Excited for that ribbon. I agree, Nikki. So there, if you really see the back, right? But these will be great, um, like with shaker cards. I can see having some fun with those too, right? Yeah. So again, those are called the subtle shimmer sequins. So they're kind of, I would say like white and like gray and silver. They're really pretty and sparkly. Okay. Um, another set of dies. These are, oh, this is the pretty pillow box dies. Okay, so let's open this one too, because I'm sure. Hello, Dawn in the thumb. Love it. Are you getting ready? Are you going to go to the lake? Probably going to go to Lake Huron maybe um, for 4th of July at some point. Maybe, maybe. Okay. Um, ooh, oh, this is so cute. Look at this little pillow box. So here's the pillow box. And then they've got some little, ooh, it's like little tabs maybe for the top. A couple of labels. Oh, there's another. I love this. Because you guys, we got rid of all of like our, well, that label punch that I used all the time that was kind of like this size. All right, this is going to be in full use. I'm sure that little label die. And then um, some little flowers there too. So look at how cute those are. All right, that's gonna be awesome too. All right, and then one more thing to show you guys. This, I think, oh no, two actually. Um, this is called the Sweet Stockings. This is 12 by 12 designer series paper. Oh, there's Cade with the lawnmower, okay. <laughs> All right, good, at least he's not on the phone anymore. I really think he was. Could you guys hear that? Nobody said whether they could hear it or not. Okay. Ooh, this is so cute too. Oh, and there are puppies. Okay. So check this one out there. Can I get it around here? Yeah, the puppies all like, it's not a puppy really, but I call every dog a puppy. Um, wrapped in the, um, <laughs> the holiday 
Oh my gosh. Sorry, I'm like looking outside too. Um, what's that called? The the lights, the holiday lights. Yeah. Okay, but look at oh, I love the colors too. Yeah, you guys, we're gonna have so much fun. So that's the oh, I feel like can I can you guys see? There we go. So there's the front side. It's a little bit crazy, isn't it? And then here's the back side. Um, yeah, so a little bit, they're not really solid, but just um, like deeper colors, I guess I'd say. But isn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh, yeah. This is good too. I mean, that's even, um, that's like kind of a soft, subtle. You could use that for like spring, summer stuff too. Ooh, this one's really cute too with like the little squigglies there. Can you guys see that one? I zoom right in. It's a little hard to tell, isn't it? But beautiful. You guys, everything is fabulous. This holiday catalog is awesome. You are going to need so many of these things from this catalog. Okay, so last, I have one more thing. This is called the Silver Foil. This is 12 by 12 paper. And um, let's see. This one, oops, I'm like losing me a piece of there too. It has a couple of different sheets, I believe. Um, Betcade, hi, thank you very much. Yeah. All right, have a good afternoon. Okay, that's it. Um, oh yeah, it's three different sheets. So can you guys tell? Is it, yeah, there you can kind of see the different colors. So super cool like foil, but like, oh, they're like different than we've had before and pretty thick. I would say this is maybe thicker than the paper that we've had before, but you get one of each of these in the three different colors um, of kind of silver, right? Oh, look at that. Oh, so cool. All right, so you guys have been appropriately teased you guys need these things i cannot wait to share all the fun projects that we're going to make with them getting so excited like i said i'm never this excited but hey you know what we're gonna have some fun with that stuff so hopefully you guys enjoyed that um what else do i want to show you guys you know what i think we are going to jump right in let's do our first drawing okay so what are we drawing for? We have the Fresh Freesia, the open weave ribbon. I've got this little strip here because I think you can see a little bit better. It's just so pretty. It's so easy to work with, beautiful. Love all of this in color ribbon, right? So we are going to do our drawing. Your name is in here as always. I already see people sharing, so thank you so much for your shares. Your name is in here if you shared the Facebook Live video and I've been posting and reposting. And I always like to do that because you never know, a couple days or a week or so after Facebook Live, go ahead and share it again. Um, catch some new friends. I love to find new people that wanna hang out and watch Facebook Live um, either while we're doing it or later or just enjoy the projects. I love to find new friends that wanna hang out with us and do this. So sharing is awesome and I truly appreciate appreciate that. And then if you haven't signed up for my email list, because that's the best way communicating through email and posting on our Facebook group. Those are the two ways that I try to get info out to everybody super regularly. My blog, I have had a hard time keeping that up. So I've been posting on there, but definitely not quite as much as emailing and posting to our Facebook group. So those are the two ways that you can always stay updated on everything that's going on. So sign up for my email list and your name is in here too. Okay. I know it's always the same info, but I'm you know, for new people that watch, I love to make sure you guys know what is going on too. Okay, so we are drawing for that Fresh Freesia Open Weave Ribbon. And we have one lucky winner. The name is Miss Vina Gomez. We get that in there. There we go there, Vina. She's such a good sharer. She's always sharing the video. So thank you for sharing, Vina. I will get that ribbon sent out to you. All right, we're gonna dump those out of the way. Put Vina's name on that one. All right, I gotta get the names in the drawing for the next one that we will do. In the meantime though, on our next Facebook Live, I'm gonna give away more ribbon. So this time we are gonna do the soft succulent open weave ribbon. So there it is right there. And then there's a little strip. So again, you get to see. So this is the one Vina just won, the Fresh Freesia, and then there's the soft succulent. So like I said, it's just beautiful ribbon. Love the new in colors, love that ribbon. Right, so we'll do that on our next Facebook Live. We will draw for that, okay? I've been talking so much, I need to grab a quick sip of water. One a moment, please. Hmm. Okay, what are we gonna do next? Super summer giveaway. Okay, so 
You guys, I know I've been telling about this. I've been, so all month long, I've been giving people entries into my super summer giveaway drawing. I've been posting about it on Facebook, I think. Now that I think about that, I'm gonna have to make sure I'm doing that. Um, anyway, the big way online, if you're not local, is post a picture of a project that you've made right here to our Facebook group. Use that hashtag, super summer giveaway, when you post, because what I do is, so for example, just at the end of June, I did it just this morning. Actually, I went through all the different ways you can earn entries. So for example, I did a search right here on our Facebook group for anybody that used that hashtag super summer giveaway. And for every picture that you posted, you got two entries into my drawing. So I've got my cute little, um, this is a little bag that they gave us back when we went to Greece, the little um, villas there too, totally remind me. Like I want to go back to Greece someday. Loved that trip so much. Anyway, that's like kind of off the, off the subject here but if you guys can can I I'm trying to show you without like dumping them all out so I've got a bunch of tokens in here so essentially what I do is I've got these little tokens and I wrote people's names on the back of them right so if you posted a picture right here to our Facebook group you got your name on two tokens in my little bag right if you came to an event during June you got one entry into the drawing and if you participated in the class to go you also got an entry I consider that attending an event um, participating in the um, class to go right so also two entries for every $50 that you spend that's either locally at classes that's online it also includes option number one of the class to go if you did that you got two entries into the drawing right um, if you bring a new guest to class you got two entries into the drawing if you join a club including paper pumpkin and in color club so anybody that signed up for in color club has three entries right now in the drawing you can also so other clubs we have the class to go club we have the simple beautiful card club and we have the scrapbook club so lots of different ways to sign up um, and get three entries into the drawing right also five entries if you buy the starter kit which we will have another starter kit deal in august with celebration I think I can tell you guys about that. Now I'm trying to think. Um, I don't know why not, right? So the deal will be that you get to pick $125 in product and a free bundle, but I think it's a limited. It's not every single bundle in the catalogs. I think it's like a specified list of bundles. So that's the one thing. I'll get more info on that as it gets closer because you can't get it right now anyway. So, but that's the deal. But honestly, the starter kit deal is always awesome. So if you bought the starter kit in June or in July, you um, will get five entries into this drawing. Okay. So like I said, at the end of July, I'll go through this list again and I'll put entries into the drawing for all those different ways you can get your name in the drawing. And we'll do it again at the end of August one last time because we're doing it June, July, and August. And then in September, I will have some of our awesome new holiday catalog product that we'll be drawing names for and giving away. So lots of great ways. If you want more info, let me know. I feel like I need to make myself a note. Am I posting on Facebook about this? I'm not sure I am. I know I'm emailing it. I, you know, sometimes there are a lot of details to keep track of, ladies. <laughs> I don't have a pen handy or I would probably make myself that note. <laughs> yeah, I'm a huge note person. Like, I have to make notes so I don't forget things. But I think I can do it. I'm going to just, like, throw this somewhere else to try to... If I put it in a weird place, that kind of, like, makes me think there was a reason why I wanted to do that. And it'll be like, oh, yeah, check to see if you're posting on Facebook, right? <laughs> Let's see. Hopefully that logic works. I don't know. Do you guys do funny like mind things like that too? Maybe it's just me. I don't know. Okay. Um, all right. I think, let's see. Oh, we're going to do our other drawing now, right? So if you are new to Facebook Live, if you don't know what's going on and how this all works, you got, um, let's see, if you, well, let me back up. If you put an online order in of at least $30 anytime between our last Facebook Live and this past Wednesday at midnight, you automatically get these two cards. These are the cards that I demonstrated, funny glare, on our last Facebook Live. We've got fun, um, fun folds too, right? Woo! I loved that card. I'm gonna have to make that another one like that sometime soon. And then this one that opens like this, right? There we go, yeah. So if you put an online order in of at least $30, you're automatically gonna receive both of those cards as a thank you from me. Your name is in the drawing that we're gonna do in just a sec to win the Turtle Friends stamp set. This is your own the one I've been using um, on my Facebook Live projects, right? And if you, as I'm like losing, there we go, I'm back. Hopefully, 
We lost the connection for a sec, but I think we're good. So you got to pick from either the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial or the Genial Gems were the June um, um, embellishment, free embellishment. So you get to pick from either one of those with your over a $50 order. So, so much good stuff, right? You could, honestly, you could get the cards, you could get the embellishment, and maybe you even win the Turtle Friend stamp set, all with a $50 order. So it's like a huge, um, huge thing. Lots of good stuff to win when you order through me. And thank you. I always, always appreciate all of your online orders. That is, as I say, it's always what helps me keep going, being able to do this. Essentially, that's how I get paid is, um, Um, yeah, so thank you. I appreciate that always so very, very much. Okay. Um, so we're going to do that drawing now, right? Okay. So names are in here. If you put an online order in of at least $30, let's see who is the winner of the super cute turtle friend stamp set. And you guys are going to want this set even more after you um, see the fun projects that we're going to make in just a little bit. Okay. All right. We're doing all right timing wise. I'm always wondering. Now, you know, I'm kind of chatty on these things. I like to talk. Okay, here we go. Miss Susan Travis. All right, congratulations, Susan, and thank you for your online order. You are the winner of the Turtle Friends stamp set. So thank you so much for your order. All right, we're going to scoot this stuff out of the way, and I'm going to show you guys. So on our next Facebook Live, we are going to be giving away, this is... The designer series paper is the 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, oh my God, I can't, I knew I couldn't say it, you guys, the 2022 in color designer series paper. Sorry, I'm like, I'm, I got a great night's sleep last night too, so I'm not sure why I'm kind of acting loopy right now, but okay, so let me show you. These are our in colors. We'll spread this out a little bit. I love this paper though. Okay, so that's the designer series paper and all of essentially last year's, that's what I just need to say, last year's in color. So you can see the fun patterns, right? I've been playing with this paper too, actually on our class to go, I used this current year's um, in colors paper on that and I'll show you that in a sec. But that's what we're gonna give away on our next Facebook Live is this full package of last year's in color designer series paper. So that's with your, um, at least a $30 order, your name goes in the drawing and you're gonna get the cards that we're gonna demonstrate in just a little bit. This month's free embellishment, and I don't even have a full pack right now, is the blue adhesive backed gems. I was gonna do the in color gems, but then they like got like sold out again. So maybe in August I could do those as my free embellishment. But I love, we used these on a card um, recently. And these are some of my absolute favorite because I think they work great on like flowers, like in summertime. And then they're beautiful on like snowflakes and things in the winter time too. You can't even see how beautiful they are. They're not showing up as well. Um, but I, I think it's the, um, if you get super close, can you guys see the, how faceted they are? The adhesive fell off too. They're just so like when you like move, they're so like sparkly and beautiful. So that'll be our free embellishment. You can pick from either the July PDF tutorial or the blue adhesive back gems with your $50 order in July. Okay. All right. I think, yeah, we drew for that. I showed you guys the stuff. Okay. We're going to flip the camera down. Okay. I'm gonna show you guys, we have a new host code for July. It's on my blog, it's always on my blog with at Gathering Ink with a K, gatheringinspiration.com. Okay, so let me grab that. We're gonna flip the camera down and I'll show you a couple more things. Okay, so turn your heads away for a sec and we will fly through the air. Let's see. Flip it around. What do we got going? Oh, look at that. Okay, so this is our new host code for July, the R6F43XQE. Again, it's always on my blog, okay? All right, I wanna show you guys my class to go, and then we are going to demonstrate our projects. Okay, 
Do I have everything? I do. Yeah. So this features, if you haven't watched the video, I always put a, a video up on YouTube also, but if you missed that, so this class to go is the all squared away class to go. And it features this super, this was one, like, honestly, this was one of those um, that I saw on, um, well, in the catalog actually. And what really caught my eye was these cute little um, dies here too. And I'll show you how fun they are to play with. But this was what I was showing you on that make and take that we did earlier. So this card is that die right there, and then those two little flower dies that you can layer over. So like that one goes on there, that one goes on there, and then those three, they kind of added right on there too. So just fun layering, isn't that, just look at how cute. So there's all those little frames. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, let me get all my info here, right? We also used on these projects, the 2021, 2023, this year's In Color Designer Series paper. You can see I kind of have, these are my little parts and pieces that were left over from cutting. We used the Genial Gems and we used the Fresh Freesia Ribbon. Okay, so let me show you the cards and then I'll tell you real quick the different options that are available. So you guys know this, right? My class to go, we, we make four cards and then we make two of each of them. So you end up with eight cards. So we've got, first of all, this one says the happiest of birthdays to you, right? And then there's the, I love, it's like the fun little geometric um, prints, right? Then we have, oops. I've got my little thing here because this one I was saying you could um, leave blank, for example, if you didn't want to have. I wrote this, I used this sentiment, good things grow like our friendship. That's such a sweet sentiment, right? But you could just have a blank, like universal, whatever you need it for card. It could be even happy birthday, right? You don't have to put anything on the outside. You could just stamp happy birthday on the inside. But this is a great example of the stamps and then the dies overlaying on those stamps, right? Then here's another fun little one, right? Um, again, with our In Color Designer Series paper, you're so worth celebrating. And then one more, happiest of birthdays to you in Fresh Freesia. The best thing about today is you. So super fun, cute, cute, cute cards that you can make with this class to go. Okay, so option number one includes the bundle, the All Squared Away stamp set. And these are called the Floral Squares dies. You also get a full package of our current most recent in color designer series paper, a full package of genial gems, and a full bolt of the fresh freesia ribbon, plus the PDF tutorial that tells you how to make the cards, right? Option number one is $86, and you actually get the ribbon, the full bolt of ribbon for free in option number one. Plus, you would get um, three entries into the Super Summer Giveaway, drawing one for attending this event, and then two because you spent over $50, right? Option number two is if you already have the bundle, the all squared away stamp set and the dies, don't get option number two if you don't have these things because you need them to do your stamping and die cutting, right? But you get a full package of the gems, the in color DSP, and a full bolt of the fresh freesia ribbon plus the PDF tutorial. That option number two is $42. And if you need those shipped to you, it's an additional $9 for the priority mail shipping. Um, option number three is the PDF tutorial, $15. Anytime you want the tutorial, you can get it. My downline, any of my current Inkspired Stampers gets the PDF tutorial for free. Another great reason to get that starter kit through me because you get all my PDF tutorials for free. Option number four is also for my downline, my Inkspired Stampers. They can get all the parts and pieces to do their make and takes for just $12. They do need their stamp set and their dies. They're gonna order those themselves and get their 20% discount though, right? Why would you not do that? I give them everything else they need um, to make those projects. So you need to RSVP um, by like three weeks from today. It's Friday, July 23rd. Does that sound right? Yeah, that sounds right. And um, I'll have the kits shipped out no later than August 4th, okay? So let me know if you have any questions. So cute, the fun geometric prints, the fun in colors, loving playing with that stamp set and dies. I think you guys will enjoy it as well. Okay, shoo, that's a lot of talking, Amy. Okay, oh, the other thing I should mention too while I'm thinking about it, because I know my note just like flew away, was the class to go. I have a number of people that do that as a club, basically meaning they want to get those um, class to go kits every single month from me. It's basically just like a fun um, stamping class every single month that comes in the mail. They pick option number one or option number two every single month. If there's honestly a month that you're like, ah, I'm just not feeling that. I am not into that stamp set and dies. 
That's not a problem, ladies. You just say, I'm going to skip that month and we'll just add one month on to the end of your club membership. So it's a 12 month membership. Basically, you get all those kits for 12 months. You get cute little treats for me every single month. I love to send out little thank yous for being a club member. And then you also get $30 in free host benefits, anything that you want. So the host sets in the back of the catalog or anything else you want, you get that for free one month when you are the host of the class to go club. So if you're interested in, try a kit, see what you think. If you're like, hey, this is awesome. I wanna do this every month. Let's get you signed up. Um, plus you'd actually get uh, three entries into the Super Summer Giveaway Drawing for joining a club, okay? All right, now I'm done talking and we're gonna start stamping. Not that I won't talk while I'm stamping though. <laughs> okay. Mm. Okay, so let me show you got this super cute little so you guys know uh thank you Philomena I'm glad she is in the um class to go club so that's very sweet of you to say that uh okay so this is fun and we always need these right not uh sometimes I guess I should say happy belated birthday sorry I was slow and then on the inside <laughs> another cute little you guys see him isn't he so cute with the little party hat on there okay so let me show you how we are going to make this card. Let me get everything out here. Mm -hmm. Using some of our twine. Okay, this one uses quite a few stamps, doesn't it? I'm like, wow, where did all these stamps come from? But it's all the little things that go on the inside of him too. Okay, I'll get this figured out. I designed these back on Monday, which feels like a million, 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 like, days ago. <laughs> so I'm like, ooh, I think I can do this. I know I can, ladies. Okay. All right. So we start with, this is a basic black card base, okay, or sheet of cardstock. Along the 11 inch side, we cut it at five and a half inches. And then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches, okay, to make our, as always, our nice crisp fold on our card. I can't bend them. So many people can bend them. I can't bend them so they look good. On the inside, we used a four by five and a quarter piece um, for the inside of the card because you can't really write very well on black, right? Then I have a piece of granny apple green cardstock that measures two and a half by five and a quarter. And this piece we're actually going to cut in half after we emboss it. So that's that piece right there. This is our basic black piece that goes right here that measures two inches by five and a quarter. And then where is my designer series paper? Did I not cut that? I have it right here. Isn't that funny? That's too big. Well, we can cut that down. That's not going to be a problem. Hmm. I can't believe I did that, though. I thought I'm usually pretty good about prepping all my pieces, but okay. So if this one is two inches by five and a quarter, this one is going to have to be, it is, so it's five and a quarter, so I need this one to be one and three quarters. And I happen to have my little teeny weeny paper trimmer here. Let me get my glasses out just in case. So we're going to cut this down at one and three quarters. There we go. So cute, right? So that is one and three quarters by five and a quarter, and that's gonna layer right on there, okay? All right, so we've got that. And then I just have some, uh, there it is, <laughs> it was hiding. Okay, well, now I have another one for the next time. Then I have some Whisper White or Basic White cardstock to do my stamping and die cutting, okay? So let's see, we are going to we're gonna stamp happy belated birthday, let's do that. And then I think we're gonna do our die cutting. Okay, so here, I've got my Granny Apple Green ink. We're gonna stamp this right on here. Happy belated birthday. Sorry I was slow, okay. We can also stamp our, um, let's do our turtle, okay? Cause we're gonna punch him out with our turtle punch, okay? So as always, you guys see my nice, easy tap, tap, tap. I never press super hard. There we go. Look at him. He's got that, even his little eyes so cute, isn't it? Right? Okay. And then we're going to add this. And I, I kind of like to put my finger um, on the corner. There we go. Fill him right in, right? Now we might as well stamp the inside too while we have this open. So we're going to stamp our little baby turtle so cute right and then we gotta give him a shell on the inside and then i'm gonna use some melon mambo ink for his little party hat okay so we'll scoot that okay get our little 
little hat right there. There we go. Okay. So I think we've done most of the stamping. I'm going to hold off to do those little hearts until after we die cut that piece. Okay. So we will need that one more time, but let's see here. Okay. So let's see, we're going to do our embossing first. Yeah. I'm like moving all these papers around. Okay. I got a plan. I know what I'm doing. Let's grab our cut and emboss machine. Are we good in view here? Ooh, Sharon, UPS just arrived with her free shipping order. Awesome. <laughs> All right, well, have fun with that. Yeah. Very cool. Okay, so these are the checks and dots embossing folders. So we've got, obviously, that's like a check, and then we're going to use these dots on this one. So we are going to put this piece of cardstock right in here. And I love that they put that little line on there too, so we can kind of line things up, put that. And you know what, this one doesn't really matter whether it's lined up or not, but we need actually, this is like a one of our thin embossing folders. So we need both of our clear plates there. Okay, so we're gonna crank that through. You guys see if I move that in a little bit more, that might be better. Okay, I think we're done with that platform. Put that back over here. We do need those again. Okay, so I'm going to cut this in half. It was easier for me to just put it all on one and then cut it in half. You could have cut it in half first and then embossed either way. But the other day when I did it, that's how I did it. So that's how we're doing it today. Does that make sense? <laughs> okay, um, here we go. We need the magnetic platform. We're going to put one of these down here. So I need this piece and... We'll use that right there. Okay. So we are using, I'll open this one up. These are the Tasteful Label dies. Okay. So that one kind of fits right there. Huh, you guys know I use these all the time. You got to have these. If you don't have the Tasteful Labels, you got to get those. Okay. Then we are also using the Hippo and Friends dies. Another great set. This is another one of those where they've got the cute little hippo and butterfly imagery and some flowers and a little squiggle and all these other little babies. But then they also have, look, like one, two, three sets of label dies also. Great set of dies. Okay, so we're going to cut that one right there. And that one, is it going to go? Come on, little buddy. It's flitting around a little bit. Okay, let's see, get these all set. I'm trying to make sure, I think I have everything. We just have to do some, we have to punch our little guy next. Okay, so there's our little happy belated birthday. Right, that. And then we've got just this regular label that we're gonna stamp our little hearts, oops, in the corner there. Good, we're gonna punch our little buddy there. Okay, I think we are done with this guy. Let's cut this designer series, or not designer series paper, the embossed piece in half. So this one is two and three quarters. So what in the heck is a half of, no, that's, no, it's two and a half. <laughs> I was like, man, I can't believe I did that to myself. We're gonna cut it at one and a quarter. That'll be half. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm like, oh my gosh. There we go. Love that little trimmer. So cute, right? Okay, we are going to punch. Let's punch with our little baby turtle punch here. He's so cute. Okay, I got to get real close here so I can make sure. I think he looks good. Punch that little guy out. Got that. Okay, so I have to show him close up. Ha, isn't he so cute? So, so, so cute. All right, let's see, where are we gonna stamp? I'm gonna put this on, my little turtle. I'm gonna put him on first. It's funny because when I made this card, I didn't have those little hearts on there. And then at the last minute, I'm like, oh, it needs a little pop of color. So I very carefully tried to stamp those hearts in there. I think I did a pretty decent job of it, but we're gonna help ourselves out a little bit and do it right now before we get everything else on. There we go. Okay. There. 
just that little pop of color. All right, I think we are ready. We're okay. I keep thinking that I'm not in good view, but we're all right. Okay, we'll put some dimensionals behind this one. And then I think we might be done with these, okay? Um, let's see, adhesive. Oh, did I really forget that? Well, I thought I brought it over. One sec, I gotta go grab my adhesive. I'll be right back. All of a sudden, then I'm like, oh, watch, I don't have like enough of it. Um, but we're good. I've got enough adhesive on here, so I'm not going to run out. Because that is always my fear, is that I will run out of it. So we're just going to add our designer series paper. Right on there. Okay. Next, we're going to add um, our embossed pieces on the top and the bottom of our card. Okay, I love this color combo too. The black really makes everything pop with the granny apple green and the white. And then we're gonna add this one. Still can't get that. Sharon's telling us about a video. I guess I need to watch the video and understand a little bit more. Still have issues on occasion with my Oops, and then that, <laughs> that's a little sticky there. Okay, that's all right. We're gonna add this guy. That was what I needed next anyway, right? So we're gonna add our little turtle man right there. Put our, so you can see how kind of quick and easy this one comes together, right? Happy belated birthday. Put that right there. And then I've got my, this is the Playful Pets twine. There's like a red and white little stitched ribbon, and then this black and white twine I thought worked perfectly on this one. And we want just kind of a tiny little bow because we don't want it hanging down too far off the edge of our card. Okay, so we're gonna add our mini glue dot. Oops, that's not the one. I, I'm trying to pull the one off the card, but I want the one that's not on the card yet. That would make more sense, wouldn't it, right? Okay, our little dot. Add our, oops, and then one more actually. We can add the inside of our card, right? So let's do that. Okay. Oh, and, and there's still one more thing now that I'm thinking about it. We gotta add some rhinestones. Cause you know me, I always gotta, I have to have the bling ladies, just a couple of little, let's see. I'm gonna use one rhinestone right there and we're gonna use one rhinestone down there. I feel like I normally put three on and maybe one of them fell off. Like I feel like it needs one more. We're gonna add one more there and we're gonna add one more. Oopsie. Oh, maybe on his eyeball. That'd be kind of fun, huh? But there, there we go. Now we've got our rhinestones on there too. Okay, let me get that ribbon back in here. So how about that? Happy belated birthday. Sorry, I was slow. And the cute little party hat turtle on the inside. Do you see? He's so cute, isn't he? Love that. Okay, so there is card number one, ladies. I do know I am using, we're gonna just clean. You guys have a chamois, right? Um, I'm gonna clean all of these because I know I'm using a couple of these stamps on the other card. So we're just gonna clean them all so that I have them all ready to go for my next card too, okay? Thank you, Philomena, I'm glad. You like that one. I like it too. <laughs> so just a sweet little guy there, right? Okay, so the other one, let's get this stuff out here, right? Or let me show you first and then I'll pull these things out so you guys can kind of be enjoying it. Okay, so this one has kind of a little, it stands up like this, if you can imagine. Can you guys kind of see that? It's like a little accordion fold. So it's like this, this can kind of pull out, you wouldn't really flip it up, but then the card does flip up just like it normally would. And this is fun, right? It's time to celebrate. It's time to celebrate. The cute little turtle on there, right? Happy birthday, it's time to celebrate. <laughs> There's something about that that's just so sweet, right? Okay, so let me grab my ink out of here. Oops. Let's get this paper back in view so I know that we're good. Okay, huge helper for me <laughs> to have that. Oh, there's another stamp too. I'm gonna be so confused about what stamps I need. 
All right, we're gonna be able to do this though. So one thing I did wanna show you, because originally I was gonna do that, it's time to celebrate um, on the shell, but I thought it was a little bit hard to read. But I think maybe with a lighter, if you used a lighter green and then you could stamp that, it's time to celebrate over top of him. That would, you could see a little bit better. So I just had to show you guys that though. All right, so let's see. Oops, I've got a little sticky there. We'll scoot that over here. So here we go. So we start with, this is Just Jade Full Sheet of Cardstock, right? So this time along the eight and a half inch side, we cut it at four and a quarter. And then along the 11 inch side, we scored it at five and a half, okay? Oops, I've got adhesive on there. I've got to get that off. Otherwise, it will be sticking, everything will be sticking to it, right? Okay, then this black piece right here, this is the one I have my note on. So this one measures three and seven eighths by ten and a quarter, and then we scored it at five and a quarter and at seven and three quarters, okay? So it's going to go like that and then like that. So there's that guy. Oops, can you guys see that? There, okay, it's gonna go like that. Then our designer series paper, this piece, which is part of that pattern party, the host designer series paper that you can get for free when you spend at least $150, you can get this for free as one of your host items. This one measures three and three quarter by five inches and that's gonna go right on there. And then I have two pieces of there, they're not, I was like, oh no, did I not cut two? This is part of the, I can't remember the name of it, designer series paper. I will have though, <laughs> all of the names and item codes of everything that we're using. They'll be all listed on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com this afternoon when I get everything uploaded. So since I can't remember the name of this paper, I will um, share that with you on my blog in just a little bit. But in the meantime, you need two pieces that measure two and a quarter by three and three quarter, and those are gonna go there and there. Then for the inside of the card, we have this piece. Again, generally always four inches by five and a quarter inches. That one goes on the inside. And then I've got just some other um, pieces of basic white cardstock to do our stamping and die cutting, okay? So let's see, we can move these maybe right over here for now, and this one too. So let's do our stamping. We've got, it's time to celebrate. So let's do that with our little, and this I'm using Just Jade ink. You guys always know the beauty of Stampin' Up, right? Our Just Jade ink coordinates with our Just Jade cardstock and ribbon and whatever else we have. It's time to celebrate. There we go. Good morning, Diana. Thanks for hanging out with us. Okay, so on the in or outside, right? So there's our inside. Then we are going to, this is just a die, actually. We don't even need to do that, do we? So we are going to, again, stamp our little turtle, super duper cute little turtle. And I just love, this works. This um, stamp is so good, too. Ooh, it's like so crisp and beautiful. Um, then, yeah, so we're just gonna die cut the label out of here. This one we're gonna punch. We'll do that in a moment though. And then I'm gonna grab my um, black memento ink to stamp my happy birthday. We're gonna do that on a, this is just like a little half inch strip of Whisper White cardstock. So we're gonna ink that up and we're gonna stamp that right on there. Okay, there we go. I think, are we done with our stamping? We'll see, I think we might be. Put that one right there. Okay, so let's do our, we just need to die cut that label basically because that's gonna be a punch. Okay, so with my basic white cardstock, we're gonna use another label die from, oh, hello, Miss Susan. Oh, lousy internet. Oh, that's a bummer. That's annoying when that kind of thing happens, isn't it? Okay, so again, from the Hippo and Friends dies, these labels right here, we're gonna use the, the medium size label. So we used that one on the last card. So this one right here, we're gonna use that guy on this card. So we're gonna just pop that right on there. Okay, die cut this little baby out. And it makes stitching on here too. Can you guys see? I have to show you. 
the stitching around there. I love, I can see having some fun like at Christmas time with holiday projects and that little label die also. Yes, ma'am. I think we will. All right, let's punch. I'm gonna get that back in view so I know what I'm doing. So again, with our little turtle punch, we're gonna punch this little guy out. Okay. He's so happy and smiley. There's just something about him that I really enjoy. Cause I guess he just makes me happy too, right? All right, so we're gonna put some dimensionals on the back of this little guy. And then we're also going to snip this down. I want it to be pretty small so it doesn't cover up um, much of anything on our card. So we're just gonna do that. Those things out of the way. And we're gonna add a couple of little mini dimensionals behind here, behind our sentiment. Okay, those on there. All right, let's get those out of the way. All right, I think we are ready to start putting things together. So this is the inside of our card. So we'll do that. Here's our card base again in our Just Jade cardstock. Okay, it's time to celebrate. I can't stop saying it. This is so cute. Okay, now we are gonna add, this is our piece of basic black and we wanna use a bunch of adhesive around this because this is going to go there, I'm trying to get it so I'm not, it's not sticking to my hand so much. There, we're gonna add that piece right there. We can add our designer series paper next on this one right inside here. Okay, so you can see how this just builds together. You guys know me too, right? I just don't do anything that's super complicated. Um, hopefully you enjoy and have lots of fun with this more simple stamping. So that's kind of tends to be where I lie is in the simple stamping and projects. Okay, so you can see I can kind of maneuver this around until I get it where I want it and then press down firmly. We're gonna put one more on the inside right here. Yeah, so just don't press too, because it's almost, mm, there we go. There, I'm trying to get it even on side to side. There we go, okay. So we've got that. Next, we are going to add our label. Okay, we're gonna put him maybe right about, I'm afraid maybe I put that adhesive up a little bit too high. Actually, that one looks like it's not quite as high, so maybe that'll be better. I'm like hesitating, like, oh, I shouldn't have put it up there, I think. That's gonna be good because I want it to pop up a little bit. All right, now we're gonna add our little turtle man. Oops. So we, I'm jokingly say, we survived the um, graduation open house last weekend. We had Cade's party on Sunday. I was so excited for it and you know, we did um, you know lots to get ready for it and everything went really well. And then I was absolutely exhausted for like a couple days afterwards, it was kind of crazy. I couldn't believe how tired I was. I think emotionally too, right? I'm like, oh, such a big deal. But he's graduated for sure fully now. Okay, so we have, this is um, a little combo pack of twine called, I guess it's the Baker's Twine Essentials Pack. So we've got kind of a white, a vanilla, and then a couple of, I'm gonna say crumb cake and then maybe smoky slate and then our basic black, right? So we are gonna tie a little bow around here so we'll do that i'm just going to give him like a little bow on his neck as a little happy birthday bow we're going to add this with a mini glue dot it is right there okay we're going to just put that right on there and then we just have one more gotta add you know the sparkle ladies right so we're gonna add a couple of our these are the holiday gems i'm gonna put one there one there and we're gonna do one down there and there we go so there is our second card with the happy birthday it's time to celebrate <laughs>
<laughs> I can't stop saying that. It's totally making me smile. Okay, so ladies, thank you guys so very much for joining me today. I was glad to be able to be back and do a Facebook Live with everybody today. So here we go. We have the little recap that I always love to do in case you're new especially. So if you put an online order in of at least $30 using this host code right here for July, you're going to get one of each of these cards as a thank you from me. Your name is also going to go into the drawing to win last year's In Color Designer Series Paper Pack. And if you bump your order up to $50, you get to pick from the July Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial or a package of the blue adhesive back gems. Okay, so thank you guys. I hope you have a great holiday, 4th of July, celebrating our Independence Weekend. And I will see you on our next Facebook Live. Thanks for hanging out with me. Bye, everybody.